Hey everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to Because Jesus Bible Journaling. I'm so excited to share this watercolor page with you guys today. I have been slowly but surely working my way through the book of Psalms from Psalm 1 all the way to Psalm 150. I thought I was in the 70s or 80s somewhere and then realized I'd skipped by some chapters in the 60s. So here we are, folks, in Psalm 68 today, talking about the heavens pouring down rain and finding our shelter in the rain of God. What a cool thing. The heavens poured down rain before God. Rain in abundance, O God, you shed abroad. You restored your inheritance as it languished. Your flock found a dwelling in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided for the needy. I love that he uses rain to symbolize the goodness of God. We need rain sometimes. So beforehand, I did a little sketch on this page of a little girl standing under an umbrella. And right now I'm just adding some slanted lines on the page using this Faber-Castell Pit Artist pen. This is a permanent pen, but unlike a Sharpie permanent pen, it will not bleed through your Bible page which makes it a very safe choice. And in addition, it is also waterproof. So when I add watercolor to this page, that pen is not gonna go anywhere. So if you're gonna try this same method for creating rain in your Bible, do be sure that if you add these little slanted lines, you use a pen that isn't going to move around when you add water to the page. I did some simple cursive at the bottom. I just wrote the heavens poured down rain trusting God, trusting in his reign as a form of provision for me, a special place in which I can shelter in his presence. As you can see, I'm going in with a dark blue watercolor and I am not solidly filling in the page. I went along with those slanted lines and then I did some horizontal lines on the ground where the rain has been puddling by this little girl's feet. And then I switched to a lighter blue and just followed the same pattern going in and filling in some more of those slanted lines and then putting in some on the bottom as well. Now I'm adding some other colors here on the ground and those are the reflection from this little girl and what she's wearing. And I know it's kind of backwards to do the reflection before I painted in the little girl, but I just wanted to make sure I could get those colors in before I added the light blue along the bottom. It was feeling a little bit vibrant for me, so I just patted it with my watercolor rag and it picked up some color and sort of muted it a little bit more. Same thing here, I'm just adding in very loosely a red umbrella, a yellow raincoat. Sandy Alnock's watercolor class very much inspired me. I have a whole video about her watercolor animals for Bible journaling class, and I definitely encourage you to take it. I think it really helped me grow as a watercolor artist in my Bible, and I'm learning how to keep things loose and flowing and just kind of get color on the page and let it dry and go back for another round and just relax and have fun. You guys, I'm the type of girl that just loves rain. And so when I saw this verse that God's rain in abundance became a dwelling place for his people, I just loved that image. So this little girl sheltered in the rain is just standing in the presence of God. And I kind of feel like I'm standing there with her just enjoying the presence of God all around me, his provision falling on me, his peace falling on me. I hope you feel that today too. I hope you're finding a way to stand in his love. I encourage you to hop into Psalm 68 verse 7 to 10 is where I am referencing these thoughts about God's rain falling on us and his people, that's you and me, finding a place to shelter in him. So again, this girl is not perfect. This is not an anatomy class on how to draw the human form, but I am just taking it easy and having a good time. So good that I got a little bit of red there on the scripture verses. And don't panic, watercolor is great. Just add a little water, dab it off with a rag, and when it dries, it's gonna be gone. It's already disappeared. So don't panic if you, like me, drop a bit of color in places on the page that you didn't intend. It is definitely a fixable mistake and nothing to worry about. I did go ahead and grab my favorite Castell Pit Artist pens here. These have the brush tip. I added just a few outlines on her jacket, but nothing crazy. And then I wanted her little navy blue rain hat to be polka dotted with white polka dots. I just thought that was the most adorable thing. 
I use the white pen as well to add little lines here and there in the rain just to give it some more dimension and really help it look like it's just pouring down rain all around her. And again, not in a negative stormy sense, but in this wonderful sense that God's all around us and he loves us. Again, just adding a little bit of lines here or there using my Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens just to add a little more definition and a little more detail. And that's pretty much it. It's a very simple page. I did a little bit of journaling in the corner here, just thanking the Lord for allowing me to shelter with him. How appropriate is this, you guys, when we have just endured a season of sheltering in place, we can shelter with the Lord. As you can see, two pages no bleed through, no damage whatsoever. Someone asked me again recently if I prep my pages. I do not. I just love using things straight on the page that are not going to bleed through at all. If you enjoyed this, please give this a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Do you find rain to be a comforting thing or do you just dread it when you see the heavens open up and the rain pour down? Sometimes maybe it depends on what your plans were that day. Anyways, I hope you jump into the Word of God for yourself today. It is amazing. You can find more about me and my art journey over on my Artsy Bits channel. Please be sure you're subscribed to this one. You can check out my Etsy store. If you're not sure where to start with Bible journaling, that's a good place to get some ideas and traceable templates. Have a good one.